and we don't never not speak. Like I see Puff in the club and, and we'll speak and he'll be like, you know, we'll speak. But then it just be the security and people around him that always thought that it was a major problem. But if you, you know, at the end of the day, Sean Prez, and I'm sure you know it because we grew up to, like we was a family on that label. I, by no means, hate the man like that. This, you know, the business may be bad and, you know, may, but I don't never wish ill upon him because I still know him as a friend, you know. So if we don't do business, that's one thing. But as a, as far as a friend, like as far as how they're trying to scrutinize and, 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 and do his character now, I don't agree with it. And I wouldn't sit and throw rocks at it while it's going on. So during these times, you know, as him being a brother, you know, somebody that, you know, I, I definitely have a friendship with some kind of way, whether it be good, whatever it may be, you know, I say, and I speak in his defense, and I say, you know, things like, no, he didn't do that. No, he didn't have anything to do with anything, Tupac's murder or none of that kind of stuff. I, Puff don't have nothing to do with paying no gangs or nothing like that for security. These are just things that I know, right? But as him being that person, you know, that's just that, you know, um, and that's just because this thing, I, I never thought that I would possibly talk to you again. You know, it's a lot of friends that I lost um, during this ordeal. And to be able to speak to you again is something that made me feel, it makes me feel good to be able to talk to you again, because that means that we are friends and we're not just basing, you know, whether we like each other or our friendship off of a friendship we have with other people. You know me as a person and I know you as a person and, and we have a friendship. So I lost a lot of friends. There's a lot of friends I don't, you know, people just don't speak to me a lot anymore like other artists, but it's okay. You know, one person that always did stick, that, that, that I always spoke to and always stuck with me was Black Rob. You know, I got to ask you, why why do you believe Black Rob turned down getting his dialysis done and taking care of his health? He was tired. He was tired of it because he say like the dialysis, like he would tell me like after he come out of dialysis and if he went in dialysis on the Tuesday, it would have him tired all the way to Friday. So it was kind of like wearing him out. You know, um, when you start looking at a person's veins and arm is getting big from the dialysis, you know, when they putting it in, you know, doing the clearing is cleaning the system out and he had just got tired of it. And and as you people usually go through that stage where they say, you know what, I just don't want to do this anymore. I just want to give up. And what a lot of people call it is when people give up and he had it was like he was giving up and he didn't want to go. And, but. That's a decision that he wanted to make, right? And if I had the power over it, over him, I can, I can take him to the doctor and they would still give him the treatment, even if he said he didn't want it, if I told him he needs to go and he needs to be there. But I wasn't in the position to, to make them have to treat him. And he wanted to give up. That's the reason why he had Queen with him. Queen was there to, to comfort him during this transition. So Black Rob kind of, if you ask me, he knew what was going on. He knew what was going to happen. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.